In today's video, we're going to talk about securing your WordPress website. These days, we don't know where WordPress is headed. We don't know what mirror we might be getting software from. We might not know which host we're staying on. Having a plan to secure your WordPress website is the utmost importance for anyone running a critical business with their WordPress website. We're gonna break down some of the key areas of securing your WordPress website in today's video. This video is brought to you by Patchstack. I'm making this video for them. They didn't have any say in what went into this video. All words are my own, but they have a great solution for those who are looking to secure their WordPress website. So let's dive in to some key priorities. The great thing, kind of, about securing your WordPress website is it doesn't have to be super technical to kick things off. Number one, having a great basis for selecting high strength passwords using something like a password manager. I happen to use a piece of software called Bitwarden. You can generate really complex passwords um, and you can use those inside of your WordPress website. Having those possibly on rotation if you're working with a large team, making sure that they are secure as possible when they're uh, creating their user accounts, maybe you're generating account passwords for them, making sure that your website is protected at the very basic level of user passwords, user management. It's a key focus for those of us who need to protect our WordPress website without getting into the real technicals of it. Number two, it could be number one, depending on how you're looking at the priority of this, Picking the right web host. The right web host will have a lot of emphasis on security and protecting your WordPress website, making sure that their infrastructure has web application firewalls or WAFs as they're known. Um, you can use services like Patchstack to protect you at the WAF layer as well. Using other services like Cloudflare is another great way to protect yourself at a very low cost, free for most most cases, um, and that'll be a fantastic way to place another layer of protection, another layer of WordPress security alongside picking the right web host. You can go to your web host, check out their feature pages, ask them in support, hey, how are you protecting my WordPress website today? In fact, you could pause this video, log into your dashboard, and open up a support chat. I know the web hosts are going to love me for this and ask them, what are the ways that you protect my WordPress website? Can you point me to resources? Can you point me to a page on the website? Can you show me some analytics on what you do to protect my site? Number three, it's always important to run backups in the event of something that happens. Uh, the best way to sort of patch your way out of this sometimes is to restore from a backup if you have some kind of malware infection. If you do get some kind of brute force attack and somebody gets into the site, you want to make sure you always have a clean backup that you can restore from. Even if you're losing data in a uh, content in a very critical situation, having a backup you can restore from is crucial um, because you want to get that site back online, figure out how uh, the attack happened or what vulnerable plugin or piece of the theme allowed these attacks to get in. Restoring from a backup is extremely important and having offsite backups, having backups off of your web host. Um, generally, they have a one-click restore. You can click a button and your website will come right back online. Maybe if you're using something from Automatic like Vault Press, it'll bring it right back to the minute of the backup. However, I would also recommend having sort of this cold storage of off-site backups where you take your backups and you put them on another storage service, Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3. You can hopefully uh, retain that legacy data safe from any of your web host uh, files. Number four, understanding where you're getting your software from. It is extremely important to understand who you're getting your software from. If you're downloading free plugins from wordpress.org, have you done some research on the author? Are they a reputable company? Do they contribute often to WordPress? Are they actively updating the plugin or theme that you're using? Do you have any kind of understanding of the longevity of their company? We've seen so many free plugins and themes come and go in the WordPress space. You see something, you kind of like it. It's got this great feature set. It's free. We immediately install it. 
it. Um, but sometimes free means it's going to be a little bit harder for that uh, company or that freelance coder, developer, designer to sustain their business. Are they still in business? Are they going to take this very important feature of your WordPress website and continue to develop so on Understanding it. where you're getting your plugins from, who they are, what they do, what kind of business they have, is very crucial to the longevity and safety of your WordPress website. Okay, number five, we're gonna talk about getting a service like PatchStack. You can find it at patchstack.com. You can start for free, which will start to give you some of that data, that information that shows how they track your website, how they alert you. And then for $5 a month, you can sign up for your WordPress website to be protected with the fastest protection for WordPress security vulnerabilities, according to their headline on the homepage. Um, PatchStack does some really fun things that other providers won't, and especially web hosts, because of the detailed reporting. First and foremost, these folks are finding bugs, squashing bugs, reporting on bugs before your web hosts do it, before even the, the theme or plugin author even knows it's happening with their own software. PatchStack will alert and work with theme authors, work with web hosting companies. You know, they are sort of like a, an independent resource for information security, InfoSec for WordPress. So they run their own scans, they have their own database, and they help patch this stuff quickly uh, before hopefully you even realize that there's a problem or that the bad actors even get to your WordPress website. Let's look at some of the resources they have on their website at patchstack.com. Okay, so PatchStack does a lot. I'm only focused right now on the WordPress security portion of it. You can also see that they do manage VDP, a bug bounty program, plugin auditing, enterprise API, and a vulnerability database that they maintain sort of separately across all of this stuff to inform uh, the greater industry at large. You might find some of your security plugins actually work with PatchStack and their vulnerability data. Maybe your web host already does work with PatchStack. So you might have seen PatchStack in many uh, areas throughout your WordPress journey, or you could run their standalone plugin to protect your WordPress website. Um, even if you're just an individual running your blog about your cupcake business, or if you're an agency owner running 50 plus sites for your customers, you certainly don't want to run the risk of vulnerabilities attacking your WordPress sites. So you'd run a plugin and a service like PatchStack. Right here on their information page, in 2022, we disclosed and reported 4,528 new security vulnerabilities for WordPress users. WordPress is a massive target, gets a lot of heat for a lot of the vulnerability stuff, but it's the nature of this open ecosystem that we have and it being the largest target for bad actors on the internet. They have a stats page that shows the most up-to-date vulnerabilities that they've disclosed or found across the internet uh, uh, attacking WordPress. And you can just go right to latest in WordPress security and see all of the latest advisories, um, Echo RSS, Post Generator plugin for WordPress, Templity, LearnPress. These are some vulnerabilities that are being reported at the time, at least at the time of this recording. You can click into these and learn more about how this affects not only the plugin, but how it can affect your WordPress website. Um, one of the great things about this, especially if you're a freelancer or an agency, and you know that this stuff is important, but you just don't have the expertise or the skill or the, the time to invest in this stuff, you're also getting an education with their content, which is fantastic. They have a whole learn and uh, education portal at patchstack.com. So if you want to sharpen your own skills so you understand what you're talking about, if you're selling into the enterprise or into bigger clients, uh, it's one thing to be able to find these bugs and patch them or exploits and patch them but they go real deep on helping the end user understand how this was uh, affecting the WordPress website, sort of where it was sourced, if you will, and you get a, a more fuller <laughs> understanding of the whole thing rather than just, oh, we fixed a bug, see you later, bye. So here's just a glimpse of the patch stack dashboard. Just running the free plan, sign up for free. You can install the plugin that syncs to your WordPress website. I'll show that in a later video, um, but this is just a quick glimpse of what is happening with this little WordPress website that I'm running. It's identifying that there's one low priority um, 
issue with the WordPress website. It shows me on the right-hand side the software that's outdated. So three outdated, one vulnerable, two disabled. Um, and then it'll run reports uh, as, the, as time ticks by and it starts accruing more, uh, more information. I can click on software. It'll show me all of the active plugins that I have, stuff that is out of date. So you can actually also use it as a quasi management service as well. You can understand like what plugins and software packages are out of date, needs updating when they were last updated. You can get a snapshot of all of those uh, throughout your site and your client sites. So how much does Patch Stack cost if you want to use their uh, paid for services? If you go to their pricing page, there's a free plan. Protection starts at $5 a website. The free plan will alert you. You can set up 10 websites onto your dashboard that we were just looking at. That'll help you understand what's happening with the security stuff. You can still do software management like updates, um, but it won't do any of the real-time protection, which is what you're going to get once you get into the developer plan. $99 a month uh, for 50 websites. Um, all of that vulnerability detection, real-time protection where they're patching it and securing your WordPress website, sometimes even before the theme or the plugin author uh, or maybe even WordPress is doing it. Fantastic value for 50 websites if you're an agency or a freelancer. $1,200 a year. Actually, if you switch to annual, you can get it for $89 a month. So just under $1,200 a year to secure 50 WordPress websites that are actively paying you. It's just a small investment into securing not only your business, but your client's business. And then if you have up to 500 websites, you can get uh, a business plan for 459 per month when you're saving uh, on the annual plan, right? So if you have 500 websites actively paying you, you're supporting 500 plus websites. Uh, again, it's just a small slice of your monthly retainer, your monthly care plans, whatever it is um, that you're selling for support to your clients. So check it out, patchstack.com. We shared some advice today on securing your WordPress websites. We showed you a little bit about Patchstack. We'll do another video with Patchstack in the future. I um, hope you like it, patchstack.com. Check them out. Thanks for supporting the show. Um, have any questions about WordPress security vulnerabilities? Leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you're running to secure your WordPress websites. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.